Welcome back in Rebuttal to Nicky Peronanto! Space Engineers today have a new ship for you. It's called Hygarian Battlecruiser and is created by Mr. Even312. So let's passing by by that ship here. It's a relatively massive ship. So here we have it. It's a nice design, a slim design. Well, so now I'm gonna show you the outside. So now to the outside of the ship. It does look great with the blue color and then the middle st uh, black strap here. It's a little bit deeper than the other, uh, the blue ones and does look great. So I'm just gonna fly around. Here in the back we have just the back thrusters, you don't say. On the side we have a hangar which is very, very bright. I mean, it's extreme bright. Anyway, I'm gonna show you later on the inside. Here we have some turrets. Just gonna roll the complete around. Also turning my lights on so you can see the turrets a little bit better. Yes, the ship is with mods, but anyway, it does look cool and great. So on the other side, just the same one. And here we have also an antenna that is sticking out a little bit. And overall it does look great, but anyway, I'm gonna show you now the inside of the ship. I'm now in the ship, here is just a massive hangar, I'm just gonna turn my lights off because there are no lights installed yet, maybe there will come some, I don't know. So here we have just some, it does look like beds or so, but I don't think it is, but it does look fine. Here we have a little bit of a walkway upstairs, up here we have just a little bit of a corridor on the right side. We have, we can go, and here is just uh, a little bit of a view to the reactors that are inside here. And it does look fine. Also, we can go here a little bit further down. Here we have just a long corridor, also here on the side with a window, so we can look out into space. On the left side here, we have a medical bay. Yes, like that here. On the other side, we have also a medical bay, medical bay but I'm going to show you that. So now here around, we have just here a little bit of a beacon in the middle and a jump draft down there. And here would be now the main bridge area with many, many seats. Also one command chair here, or captain chair. And it's fine, it's fine. And yeah, this is pretty much the bridge. We are now on the other side, just looping around. And here should also be a medical bay like the other one on the other side. And we are now in any moment back where we started, just here in that room here. And this is pretty much it. And yeah, I'm gonna see you now in a moment where I'm near the planet so we can see a nice crash. Also, I just forgot something here in the hangar on the other side. Also, we can go there. Here's just the assembler and the storage system of the ship. Also with another reactor, like a backup reactor. Or a reactor just for the refinery, like so. And also just some oxygen tanks. Anyway, now I'm gonna see you in a moment. The heat is now rising on the outside of the ship here. Now we're entering the atmosphere of the planet. And yes, there is now the fire. But I can't see any damage yet. Just gonna fly a little bit above or before the impacts. Anyway. Here is now the impact, uh, just take a little bit more of time and here is now the impact. A little bit of a lag because the trees are loading in. So let's see, ooh, this looks interesting, it just completely stopped. Um, let's see what the damage is. And it's clipping a little bit through the ground, it does, and uh, I think the planet is eating the ship. A little bit, yes. It's just in the ground somehow. Maybe I have, I have no idea what is going on. And now it's coming back out, uh, back out of the planet. I have no idea. It's damaged here on the rear, heavy damaged. But somehow uh, it's still getting damaged because it's in the ground. I think the game don't, doesn't know what to do now. Um, yeah, it's getting more damage and the lag is really, really high. 
I can only wait until this is done and the uh, game decides it's gonna stop and there are so much debris flying up, uh, through the screen I can't do a thing. Just gonna look a little bit around and how much is still... There are so many thing things and now there are just explosions because I think the ship is ripping it apart. Anyway, and let's see what the damage is. It's just a glitch. I had it with also with other ships, but every time I would crash the ship into the planet, that would be the same cause. No idea what I can do about that. Uh, yeah, the damage, it's, it's hard to see. <laughs> it's getting even more damaged. I mean, this is crazy. Maybe it's settling down. Um, yeah. It looks like it's getting ripped apart and the biggest part is flying now into the planet. Yes, now it's cutting itself loose. I'm gonna follow it just fast uh, inside of the planet. So sorry for that. So I just need to follow it down. Um, no idea. No idea. Yeah, this is just the uh, ship who's, uh, which is now falling into the planet. Which is absolutely crazy. But as you can see, the main impact wasn't that hard. Front is a little bit damaged and now, yes, I know it's ripped open. But I can't really stop the time or the physics. So I need to just chase it a little bit down. And as what I can see is that cockpit is here ripped open. Anyway, I'm just gonna see now what that other uh, side looks like. And there are even more parts falling down. So, well, this was an interesting impact. A little bit of a glitch here and there, and now there's still some lag. But this part is here now left, and... Yeah, it's just so some of the hangar, the other side. A smaller part. Anyway, I'm gonna see you now in a moment where I'm gonna throw the chip down the mountain and hope to see a little bit of a different crash. And uh, if you're wondering why I'm not gonna do that again, this is now my fifth or, or sixth try to crash it out. And every time it goes into the ground. So maybe because of the mods or so, I don't know. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Anyway, I'm gonna see you now in a moment. I'm now on the mountain, just gonna spawn the chip in like so. Let it fall. Come on, load a little bit faster in. That would be nice. So in any moment there should be the ship popping up out of nothing. Um, ah, here it is. Just take a little bit more of time and now it's falling down. I'm also going to turn my lights on. So here's now the first impact and wow, we have an explosion in the back, which is really, really nice. And I hope the ship is not going to get, uh, it's not glitching through the ground like the last crash before. But we will see. So, and yes, it's getting damaged, which is really, really nice. And it's also relatively loud. The metal noise is in the background. So, it's uh, gently getting damaged. Not that much of a damage for such a big ship. Ooh. And now it's even more spinning, which is interesting to look at. So, here's now the next impact. Ooh, it's just rolling even further, uh, faster now down and spinning even more. Also, there's now the end of the cliff set. It went really, uh, very, very fast down the cliff. Yeah. So, the last part is the most part of the hardest impacts and most of the damage, but we will see that. So, it's now in the ground area, just bouncing a little bit around. I mean, yes, it's getting damaged, but overall it held nice together. So, it's now on the back again. And it's glitching through the ground, which is very, very bad. Just here on the end. Why is it doing this? I'm just gonna see fast what the damage is before everything is crashing or it's gonna go through the ground and as you can see here in front we have a little bit of a damage inside of the ship in the front is really nothing special and now it's look like the ship is sinking into the ground 
I would like to see what the damage is inside. So here is no damage. It should be... Uh, here we have a just ripped open area. I mean, yes, it's getting more and more damage. So here is the bridge area, which is not that damaged from the main impact, but maybe it's getting damaged. Yes, as you can see, there's now the ground ripping everything open. The beacon area. What the hell is going on? Really? I mean, it's getting more and more sucked into the ground, which is really, really bad behavior of the chip. But what can I do? I can't do anything. Maybe only the front part is getting cut loose, which it does look like it. I hope it's not going to go completely in. Let's see what the damage is again on the front area before it's just completely cut open, uh, uh, cut and fly away. On the front, I think there's anyway no area so you can't go there in any moment it will cut loose and then and the back area is just getting damaged and also now in the ground huh well here i'm just gonna fly around so you can see the damage a little bit better until it's just i think it's now cutting loose or just gonna rip apart yeah this is very very uh, very weird and i think the other part is now falling into the planet yes so let's see how well the damage is i hope it's settling now down um so we can see a little bit more and this room is just completely ripped open here to the bridge area um the reactor room is here on the back and i think all the reactors are still in the ship yes fine and the hangar is also still kind of intact i mean the one door is here just ripped open but yes and back here is also fine the refinery part just only here the corridors are relatively fine medical base also still here the other side is just completely ripped away let's see where the hell it's falling through when I mean, it went through the ground but i can't ah here it is i'm just gonna fly there maybe it's gonna stop i don't know how long it's gonna fall maybe to the core of the planet i don't know and i think there's nothing really special to show to you no just some front parts anyway just gonna fly now up again um uh, where was that uh impact uh the impact the ship the Astro ship so anyway i'm gonna end now my video i hope you liked it anyway it is a really nice ship if you want to download it for yourself you can do it i leave a link in the description down below also for the speed mod and the re-entry mod so i'm gonna end it so leave a like if you want subscribe to me or leave a comment that will help me and i'm gonna see you in my next video goodbye